Hey what's up guys, this is Ryan here again and in this video I'm going to show you guys how to make a timer in Visual Basic 2010 or 2008. So what you're going to do is open up Visual Basic and you're going to um, make a new project. So once you do that, you want to make sure that you have Windows Form ap Application selected. Then you can just name whatever you want. We're just going to call it Timer Application. It's just Timer App. Then you want to click OK. Once you do that, you want to wait for your form to load, which shouldn't take too long. Um, mine's loading right now. Should be done in a few seconds. Okay, so there's our form. Then you're going to um, click on the form. Make sure you have the properties window somewhere. And you can change the text to whatever you want. We're just going to call it um, timer. And you can set the start, the start position to whatever you want. Um, I just like it center screen. And you can change the icon, but we'll do that. Um, we won't do that since it takes a lot of time. Then you want to add a label and a button. So we can just put the button about here and the label about here. Then you can just resize them. You can change the label to, to whatever you want. We're just going to call it time. And then the button will just be start. So change the text to start. Okay. Then you want to add a timer which is right here and um, in the properties make sure the interval is 1000 and just add a zero there and make sure it's enabled is false then you want to double click on the button and in the public class form 1 under that type in dim time account as inter equals and whenever you want the timer to count down to. So if you want it to count down from 10 to 1, just type in 10, so we're going to type in 10. Then in the bottom one, click, um, you want to type in timer1.start. Dot dot enabled, actually, equals, and then true. Then once you do that, you want to go back to your form, double, double click on the timer. Then you want to add this label to dot, uh, label one dot text equals time account dot to string and then you want to type in if time account equals zero then timer one dot enabled is false label one dot text equals time timer account equals 10 and then you want to have in else and then you want to have in time account space minus equal and then one that means that it'll minus one every time the time one ticks so next you want to click f5 or start debugging right here next you want to press start as you can see the time has started and it'll keep on counting down like that so it'll count down and then it'll stop and then it'll say time again you can start again, and it'll do it all over again. So um, here's the code if, if you don't have it already. And you can change it to whatever you want. If, if you find a better code, you can just message me. But yeah. Well, this is Rightstock here again, guys. Thanks for watching this video. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And tell me if this tutorial works for you. Yeah, um, subscribe. It really helps. And thanks for watching, guys. This is Rightstock signing out.